everyone, I'm Kristen. I'm with Bob CNC, and today I'm next to Bob, as you can see. Um, some of you have questions about G code, and I am one of those people. I do not understand it, and Bob has tried to teach me a couple of times. And so we thought we would do um, this where he's teaching me in a video so you guys could see it as well and learn from it, and hopefully I'll do better this time. So, Bob, take it away. All right, yeah. So, uh if we're going to learn G-code and basically how to write it by hand and the functions of it, we really need to understand the coordinate system. So I think in this first video, we'll just start on uh, the uh, number line, and then maybe by the time we get done, we'll have a, an XYZ coordinate system, and we'll put some numbers on it. So let's get started. We're just going to draw a number line. We're going to say that zero is over here. And we're going to label it 1 to 5, or 0 to 5, actually. So, Kristen, where is 3? So, when you're doing this, my habit would be to point to number 3 and just point, you know, to the 3 itself. And that's not it. You're, you're going right on the number line itself and marking 3. Okay. How about 1? All right. Now, I'm pretty sure this is pretty trivial, so most of you are following along pretty good. So, we're going to go to the next step, and we're going to do a positive and a negative. And we're also going to go ahead and call it the X. Okay, so here we go. Positive X and negative X. And now I'm going to put the origin or the zero here and I'll label the positives. And Kristen, can you label those negatives? Alright then, so Kristen, where is 4? What about negative 3? Alright, that's really pretty good. I'm pretty sure that you guys are catching it. Notice you're still putting it on the number line on the axis itself. Now in G-code, I wouldn't say just the number, but I would say, hey, where is x2? What about x minus 5? And there you have it. So now we're going to go ahead and include the y-axis. So let's go ahead and take those off and put a y-axis up here. Now the y-axis, the positive y would be above the x-axis and the negative y would be below. Now, before we get started, I want to uh, just cover something else. These are called quadrants. Quadrant 1 is here. Quadrant 2 is here. Quadrant 3 and Quadrant 4. Now, Kristen, what do you notice about the signs in Quadrant 1, about the X and the Y? They're both positive. X is positive. And Y is positive. And Y is positive. What about in quadrant two? So the uh, x is negative and the y is positive. So x is negative and y is positive. And quadrant three? The x is negative and the y is negative. x is negative and y is negative. And the last quadrant? The x is positive and the y is negative. You guys see this? Notice that in here, all of the numbers are positive. In here, because we're below the line, the y's are negative, but the x's are positive. And you can see this tr triggers all the way around. The other thing that I think that some people get confused by that we'll cover, if x is 0, it is on the y-axis. If y is 0, it is on the x-axis. And so we're going to go ahead and plot some points here in our x-y coordinate system. Are you ready? No. She's ready. Okay, Chris, what if I said x3, y3? x3, y3. So you gave me an easy one. I Thank did. You. 
So what I'm going to do is come over here to the number line and get my X3 first, and then I'm going to go up three places to the Y, so one, two, three. All right. Well, let's go a little bit more difficult. Oh, we'll try both negative. What about negative or X negative four, Y negative one? Okay, so we're coming to the negative side of the X axis. So we go to negative four X or X, whatever. Sorry, I'll get there. And then the negative one? Yes. Okay, negative one on Y would be about there. Okay, what about a X minus two, Y three? So <laughs> again, starting with the X, X negative two up to the three of the Y. Okay, so are we ready to see if she can handle the zero one? Let's do X zero, Y five. Okay, so X zero, so we're on the Y axis mm -hmm. and we go up five. Fantastic. I hope you guys were following along. There's only one more complication, which is going to be hard to demonstrate, but we're going to try. There also is the z-axis. Z-axis would be positive coming right at you out of the board. We obviously can't do z-negative here because there's a wall in the way. All right, Kristen? All right. Are you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Let's do a x1, okay. y minus 4, and z5. X1 minus Y minus 4 would be about here, and then Z1? Z5. Z5. So it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fantastic. Well, that's going to be it for coordinate systems. I hope you guys understand the beauty of this is you can watch this over and over again until it actually sinks in. <laughs> it took a long time for me. <laughs> yeah, this isn't our first video. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.